I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, go on a limp here. I feel like Timothy's deck is really powerful. Um, just from from the sing from the cards we've seen, Caltrain Raptor, Experiment One, um, and the other Evolve cards, um, headlined by Simic Manipulator, certainly uh, the the rare. But throughout the course of the tournament, we have seen that Simic has struggled with the utility creatures of Orzov, and Bart not only has black and white creatures, but it's also splashing red for Sunhome Guild Mage. So I'm I'm so, I'm thinking that Bart might just have too many utility creatures for a blue green deck to handle. He has the uh, Sunhome Guild Mage. He also has Viscopa Guild Mage, and any Guild Mage left active for any length of time with a little bit of mana could potentially be a bit of a nightmare for a Simic deck. Especially next to the Extort creatures, of course. Absolutely. Um, Extort playing very, very nicely with Viscopa Guild Mage. Three mana enabling you to make it so that either a creature you control has lifelink, or every time that you gain life, your opponent loses the same amount of life. That potentially could mean a huge amount of life swings in Bart Tomacek's favor in this finals matchup. And for, for Timothy, the early turns of the game are going to be very, very important. Uh, just the difference it makes if you have a turn one evolved creature or not, if you can follow it up with something to pump it, um, makes all the difference in the world. And uh, Bard is going to be content on just getting, um, well, keeping his life total up and finding ways to um, bring Timothy in a position where he's slowly but surely losing the game. So he's going to be looking to get the uh, aggressive Evolve Curve started from the very first turn. We know that he has um, Cloudflame Raptor. We know that he has Experiment 1. There's absolutely the tools that Timothy Simono needs to be able to win this Grand Prix, but he needs to get them in the right order on time because Bart Tomacek's deck, it has a number of quality removal spells and given the opportunity to go long, the utility creatures to be able to put the game away as well. And um, going to be very, very exciting to see that um, starting hand by Timothy, uh, just to see, uh, does it have does it have the evolved curve, or is he relying on a, on a slower, slower game plan to get there? Now, interesting to note, at every turn in this top eight, it's been the player, the, the, the lower seed, that has won every single match. So we now have the seventh and eighth seeds um, battling for the, for the title of uh, Grand Prix London champion. That means that the only player that Timotei Simono has had the opportunity to go first against all top eight is in the finals against Bart Tomatek. How big a, an advantage do you think that will be in this matchup? I think, in this, given that there's an Orzov deck, uh, I think that the tempo isn't all that important. And I thought that going first was, was actually pretty huge in this matchup. Now it looks like all the players that were forced to, to draw first, um, thanks to the brackets, uh, have actually won their matches. So I'm kind of... <laughs> maybe we know nothing. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's uh, the other way around. And that is the aggressive evolve curve. Absolutely. Experiment one on turn one, straight into Frilled Oculus. So that 1-1 one, one experiment one immediately turning into a 2-2 two, two, and being able to swing on the second turn as a 2-2. Two, two. Frilled Oculus, even if Timothy Simono doesn't have a third creature on the third turn, he's going to be able to potentially attack for five in total. And Bart with his guild gate on turn one, no plays there, but that's not necessarily a big surprise. No plays on turn two could be a big problem. So Timothy taking full advantage of, of being on the play here. He, his hand has, has lands and spells. Uh, we don't know if he's going to pump that Oculus. He is. That's five that's damage five coming damage. through. Yeah, that, that's Bart's insane. on 14 and nothing's really happened yet in the game. This cannot be the start that Bart was looking for. He's just, oh, and there is a Simic Guild Gate. This is exactly the sort of moment where Bart must have been sort of thinking, come on, come on, let him at least miss a land drop. I'm, I've stumbled a bit. Wouldn't it just be fair to see a stumble on the other side too? Timothy disagrees. Yeah, and, and this is the turn where Bart uh, would love to have a Basilica Guards. Um, he's representing Hours of Justice here, um, potentially trying to ambush that Experiment 1, but could also try to get a Frilled Oculus in response to a, a pump spell. Uh, Timothy probably facing an interesting decision here. If he, if he taps out, he does pump his Experiment, but he isn't able to pump the Oculus anymore. Uh, so he does go for um, the attack first, and as I said, Errors of Justice might just, yeah, yeah, get rid of that experiment. Deal with experiment one before it becomes too much of a problem. And the Frilled Oculus just getting in for one here, so we will expect to see something as a follow-up from Simono. And that is a Keymaster Rogue. Uh, 
So it bounces the Oculus back to his hand, but now Simono has an inexorable source of damage, a 3-2 unblockable rogue. So that's a five turn clock, but let's not forget that there is extort uh, going on. So it's likely that uh, Timothy is going to take much longer to actually kill Bart if that's how this game is going to end. And also don't forget that Bart has more than a few removal spells to play with uh, within his pile. Um, Gift of the Lover in his hand, um, that can give something lifelink and potentially make the race a little bit more complicated for Timothy Simono. Simono without a huge amount of removal to work with. Bart does have the tiger to um, counteract wow. some of that life loss. Uh, even though the game hasn't progressed far enough that he has that um, two mana available. Wow, but Simono is, is looking strong. Simic Manipulator immediately getting a plus one plus one counter thanks to Frilled Oculus. It's only going to take one more creature before it can steal that tiger. And Bart really doesn't want to find himself on the wrong side of his own tiger because, you know, nobody wants that, right? I'm, I'm more afraid that any creature Bart could play here is potentially getting, getting stolen. So simply being forced to deal with that uh, manipulator, just re respecting the danger of Simono dropping another creature, means that Bart probably has to spend his turn getting rid of it. And when you look at this board, he doesn't have a blocker for um, that filled Oculus, because his tiger is a 2-3 facing down a potentially 3-5 Oculus. And, well... Um, you can see the look on Bart's face there, a little wince as he reads uh, Simic Manipulator again. It's a 0-1 Evolve that um, he can tap, remove um, a number of plus one, plus one counters to gain control of target creature permanently now um, that has a power equal to or less than the number of plus one, plus one counters removed. So at the moment, nothing that Simono can steal, but just one further Evolve would mean that it could steal any two power creature that uh, Bart Tomacek chooses to play. Um, the Simic decks don't always have a creature to evolve with, but given that it's, it would, such, uh, would be such a, a bad thing to happen to, to Bart, he can't really um, risk that, and he might be forced to just spend a removal spell, even though it's only a 1-2, just because it's threatening to take over this game. I mean, we talk about control magics being important in Limited. Typically, not only gaining a creature, but denying your opponent one is a, a pretty backbreaking play. In principle, given enough time, Simic Manipulator can do that effect again and again and again. Very, very powerful rare. So we have an Ors of Kirun. That's not something that deals with the Manipulator. Um, oh my god, we actually see Tiger's going to the air. Now, now it's got three power, so all of a sudden it's, it's safe from one evolve. If Timothy Simono can get two evolves going in this next turn, though, then Bart might be left feeling a little bit silly as he has to face down his very own Tiger. No, but um, I, like, I like playing to your outs here, and um, we already said that Simic isn't always able to evolve once, and it, it's certainly more difficult to evolve twice, uh, simply because you need um, progressively stronger creatures. So now it's, it's somewhat of a race, but, um, well, the Orzhov deck isn't winning that race yet. No, so even the Manipulator here coming in for attacks, so that was a one, two, three, four, five point swing, and Simono leaving all of his mana untapped, so any number of tricks could be coming from his side of the board now. Yeah, also representing one of the counter spots he's shown. Um, he, I believe he does have... Um, Spell Rupture? I don't know if he has it in hand, though. Spell Rupture, of course. Uh, countering target spell, unless its controller pays X, where X is among the greatest power of the creatures you control. So currently, the greatest power of creatures that Simono controls is three. So effectively, that's kind of like a mana leak. One thing to consider here is that Bard has an Ors of Kirun, potentially a 1-4 lifelink. But that's not something you want to activate against an uh, active Simic Manipulator. Yeah, Simic Manipulator can steal creatures at instant speed, um, and with one counter on it can immediately take a 1-4 Orzhov Key Rune, and just because it stops being a creature, it will not stop being under Timothy Simono's control. I think that's a, a Night Watch, which Bart could, could use to, to um, give him some defenses, but once again, the, the Manipulator is still a threat, um, two, two knights, not really great at blocking Frilled Oculus. Not really, but I mean, 
Time is not on Bart Tomacek's side. He's got to do what he can, where he can. We can see a death's approach in uh, Bart Tomacek's hand. Not quite big enough to kill Simic Manipulator, but enough to potentially dissuade Simono from activating it with leaving no counters left on it, because then it would immediately die. So yeah, that, that death's approach of card we've just talked about, sometimes it is only providing a minus one, minus one effect. And there is Mystic Genesis. This, a very big threat from um, Timothy Simono. Mystic Genesis, two colorless, a green, and two blue, counter target spell. Kind of an expensive rate to counter a spell, um, but you also get an XX ooze token, where X is the cost of the spell that you just countered. In this case, Nightwatch costs five. That means that we get a 5-5 five, five ooze, and Bart Tomacek scoops up his cards. That's that, the end of game one. That Mystic Genesis uh, pumping up uh, Simic Manipulator to add insult to injury, uh, working great with Evolve, and, and yeah, not much of a chance there for the other Ors of deck. So, Bart Tomacek just a little bit slow to get things online. He didn't have a creature on turn two. He took a few hits early on um, from Experiment 1 um, and Frilled Oculus, and then Simono able to take control of things with Simic Manipulator. Um, making sure that there wasn't really anything that Bart could do beyond attempt to race, which not really in his favor in that case. Yeah, that, that didn't really work out. Uh, Bart being forced to use the, the Arrows of Justice on Experiment 1, certainly a good idea when you're being beating, beaten down by a turn 1 Experiment 1, but uh, in the end, didn't have the removal spells he would have needed, and um, probably he would have wanted one for Kima's Arrow, one for Simic Manipulator, and then probably a third one for that Frilled Oculus, simply because all of these were putting up so much pressure in, in different dimensions. So, looking at uh, Bart's sideboard here, it doesn't look like he's got loads of great options available to him. Um, a few bits and pieces here and there, but ultimately the, the starting list that he's got I mean, he said that he was a bit frustrated during his deck build with um, how his draft had gone, perhaps not so happy to have his splash. But really, it looks like part of it is that actually, when you get right down to it, he's possibly struggling a little bit for playables. Um, in terms of cards in the sideboard that might come in, he could try and get very cute and do the act of treason trick on Simic Manipulator, but that's a pretty narrow choice. Um, by and large, he's not going to be able to get a huge amount of value out of that card, and he is on a splash for his red cards as it stands. Um, shielded Passage, not really the, the sort of trick that he's wanting here. While Simono is fairly aggressive, um, it not necessarily the most powerful of, of defensive tricks, and he would need to be confident that he would um, have more creatures on the board, because Shielded Passage, preventing all damage that we dealt to creatures this turn, at best you've got lots of creatures on the board and it lets you block and fog effectively. Yeah. Also not a card you want against the aggressive Simic deck, and I think what we are seeing here is that um, Bart's deck, while being Orzov, can't really be classified as a, as a true extort deck. He just didn't get uh, the necessary amount of extort creatures to pressure, pressure his opponent simply by having a board presence. He does have great mana scenes and late game cards in the, both Guild Mages, Sun Home and Viscoba Guild Mage, but he doesn't play um, turn to City of Ties, follows, follows it up with Basilica Guards, and makes life miserable for a blue-green opponent. Yeah, there's, there's one Basilica Guards in Bart's deck, and I, ca I can't help but feel that if he does draw it and cast it on turn three, that puts him in a much better position. Um, but he's not necessarily got all of the pieces in, in place for the classic Orzov build. Yeah. We, saw, we saw Vincent Lemon going for Orzov, and he had a total of four Kingpin pets. Now, that's a crazy amount, but I would, I would always want one or two of them in my deck. And um, maybe you can enlighten us here. Yeah, there's not a single Kingpin's pet in um, uh, Bart uh, uh, Bart's uh, deck. Um, and that one, kind of an important one, because not only does it have extort, it has the opportunity to let you swing in as well. Um, because realistically, you're not doing 20 points of damage with extort. You're, you're maybe doing perhaps 10 if you're lucky, and I you need to find a way of doing the other 10. I think I've heard that before. Yeah, someone really smart said it once. Uh, I'm not quite sure who. I'm going to say me. So, um, assuming that Bart is going to be on the play here, um, he, he has his work cut out for him. Not only is he, is he lacking some key ores of cards, um, he knows he's facing an incredible powerful deck. 
and he has to win two games on the bounce now. He's on the play for this one, but he will be on the draw in the final game if it goes to a third game. And I, I actually had the chance to see how that powerful Simic deck uh, came to fruition. Uh, Timothy started off his draft with Simic Manipulator and then got past Experiment 1. So it was the dream come true Simic draft, uh, if you will, uh, just sticking to Simic all the way and um, being rewarded by a great, great curve. So starting off with the Cloud Friend Raptor here, this is a best of three games. So if Simono can just put away this one more game, he will be crowned the champion here at Grand Prix London. And a 0-1 flyer with Evolve, a great way to start it if he can follow it up with more creatures. And he does. Two drops being very important in this format. And if you have a, a one drop that grows on the way, uh, your opponent sitting there with his splash color, it seems like uh, maybe even lacking a third land. Yeah, a tricky one there. Disciple of the Old Ways. It's unlikely that we're going to see the red mana available to give that Disciple of the Old Ways first strike. But Simono, not too worried. The main thing he wants is simply to curve out with his creatures, get his Evolve going, and that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Bart, Bart kept a two-lander with a Boris Kirun. Uh, we see Boris Kirun, but also Basilica Guards in his hand. He's unable to cast his uh, three mana spells, and the draw of Timothy is looking brutal. It's a very aggressive draw here. That had Drake Queen Crisis, the 3-1 Flying Trampler. It's powered up the, um, the um, Cloudfin Raptor there. So that's a 2-3 attacking. Four more damage coming Bart's way. He's at 15 and he's not got a creature on the board. Nodding to himself, but not necessarily particularly happy with the way things are going. He really needs a land here and I'm guessing that it's not come for him. Uh, it looks like he, he took his chances there with his keep. Um, he knew that he was in an upper battle, being, being 0-1 behind, facing a, a very powerful deck, maybe hoping that um, for once the Simic deck wouldn't have the perfect start, but Timothy uh, has other plans. So it looks like... <laughs> that looks like a martial I, th I think, I think that, <laughs> that a statement from Bart about how he sees this game going. He'd rather just cast a Martial Glory on his opponent's creature, not even try and bluff the, the trick. Um, yeah, so, so Magic's uh, seven card hand limit, forcing you to discard if you have eight cards at the end of your turn. And um, Bard uh, it prefers to just cast his instant there, of course, to, to no avail. And for the third turn in a row, Simono has found an appropriate creature to get the Evolve continuing. Uh, Scabland Charger, now meaning that his Cloudfin Raptor is a 3-4. Uh, the toughness there being high enough to force an evolve. Um, but down to seven on these attacks. Um, he's got one turn left. He's found his third land. But what can he do with that three mana available to him? It's, it's an attacking format. And he's being attacked by three, uh, now four creatures. And it's good to be on the offensive. It's okay to be on the defensive, but sitting there without any way to block, not the way you want uh, the board to look like. So an Arrows of Justice there potentially, it does take out the Cloudfin Raptor, so now he's only taking, well it seven. still looks like seven, that's enough. He extends the hand. Timothy Simono is our Grand Prix London champion, and look at the crowd, they're very excited there. You hear a huge cheer. You can see Ellie Pichon leading the cheers from the French players there from the feature match area. Bart can't stifle the laugh. Also an incredible job by Bart um, making the finals. Uh, yeah, just, just a great job by all of our top eight players. Yeah, we, we've, we've seen a fantastic weekend this weekend. Um, from start to finish, there's been some great play. All of the guilds here in, in Gatecrash showing their worth and we've We've really learned quite a bit about the format. This is a format that lives and dies in the red zone. And unfortunately for Bart in those, that final game there, he unable even to put a blocker into the red zone in the face of a um, relentless assault of evolved creatures there from Timothée Simono, our Grand Prix London champion.